In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of a couple of functions. Let's begin with part A and identify which function we think it's going to look like. So because there's an absolute value, that's a pretty good indication that we're going to want to start with the graph of the absolute value and then do some transformations of this graph. Well, which ones do we do first? Notice that the very first thing that happens to the x value is we add 3. So that's the first transformation we're going to do to the graph. First thing we're going to do is add 3 to the x values, which causes a shift horizontally to the left 3 units. The second transformation will take care of the negative sign. The negative on the outside of the absolute values and not next to the x means that we're going to reflect the graph across the x-axis. So there's our instructions. We start with the graph of the absolute value. So y equals absolute value of x. We shift it to the left three units. So one, two, three. Which makes this a y-intercept of three. And now we reflect it across the x-axis. So now we have y-intercept of negative three. So there's our graph of f of x, y equals f of x. In part b, we want to use the same strategy. Here, because we have a square root, we're going to start with a square root function. And then notice what happens first to any value we plug in for x. It gets multiplied by 2. So multiplying by 2 will cause a horizontal compression. So we're going to compress horizontally by a factor of 2. And then at the very end, once we figure out what that graph looks like, we're going to subtract 2 from it, which causes the graph to shift down 2. So unlike part A, where the number was being added directly to the x, which caused a shift in the x direction, here the number is being added, or in this case subtracted, after we find the square root of 2x. So that's going to cause a shift in the vertical direction, so down 2. So let's see what this looks like. We start at the square root. So 1, 2, so we know the square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2. So there's our good old square root function. And now we're going to compress this horizontally by a factor of 2. Now what that means is that each of the x-coordinates are going to be compressed by a factor of 2, which means that we're going to multiply all the x-coordinates by 1 half. So this point at 4, 2 is going to be compressed to... 2, 2. This point at 1, 1 is going to be compressed at 1 half 1. And so we get this graph as being the graph of y equals square root of 2 times x. And now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to shift this down 2 units. So 1, 2. So now we have a point at negative 2, or 0, negative 2. This gets shifted down to here. And then we have a point here at 2, 0. So the graph of a g of x looks like this.